The archipelago is a little world within itself. Both in space and time, we seem to be brought somewhat near to that great fact, that mystery of mysteries, the first appearance of new beings on this earth. Charles Darwin, October 8, 1835. The Galapagos Islands are living and breathing proof of Darwin's theory of evolution. The islands have proved to be one of the most unique archipelagos on Earth. The unspoiled purity of the islands has led to it becoming one of the world's leading tourist attractions, drawing in an unprecedented 180,000 visitors this year alone. While Ecuador's economy has flourished from the islands, the natural splendor has taken a toll. In April of 2007, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization officially declared the Galapagos Islands a location on the list of World Heritage Sites in Danger. Introduction of invasive species, illegal fishing, and pollution are the utmost threatening human-inflicted dangers. Although 96% of the original species discovered on the islands in the 1500s are still in existence today, 24 vertebrates and 500 plant species have been introduced. Project Isabella was established to help remove the feral goat population from the islands of Santiago and Isabella. Soon after a successful removal in 2006, vegetation quickly flourished and natural ecological cycles once again stabilized. Hundreds of other invasive species, however, continue to threaten the island's fragile habitat. Marine species which are at high risk are the fundamental base on the food chain in relation to the animals and birds of the islands and are fighting to survive illegal fishing activity. In 2006, when President Rafael Correa attempted to put a limit on sea cucumber harvesting, Galapagos Park Rangers faced numerous bomb threats, as well as a hostage crisis dealing with the captivity of several giant tortoises. The government also imposed laws banning fishing in the 37,000 square kilometers of water encompassing the islands. Soon after, forest fires spread throughout Isabella Island, which were linked to angered fishermen whose livelihoods are dependent upon fishing. The number of tourists visiting the islands has elevated to 10 times the amount since the 1980s. In 2001, around 50,000 tourists visited the islands. This really is the limit. We can't handle it anymore. Sixto Naranjo, Galapagos former director. Currently, there are 12 500 passenger ships which are permitted to operate throughout the islands. The Ecuadorian government needs to try to avoid commercialization of the islands. Cruise ships in larger boats allow hundreds of tourists to visit the islands at a time, which increases the likelihood of the introduction of invasive species. Try to use yachts and services which are owned and operated by local people. Santiago Bejarano, an Ecuadorian photographer and naturalist. Cruise ships are not contributing to creating a more sustainable tourism in the islands. The ships bring their own food and don't deal with the local people. Locals suffer economic depravity as cruise ships provide tourists with food, entertainment, and lodging. Localization appears to be a simple solution with, when dealing with the Ecuadorian economy. If tourism stopped now, you had to have 30,000 people out of a job. UNESCO official Mark Petri. Locals are dependent upon the tourism industry for survival. It would be devastating to Ecuador's economy if tourism were to be completely eliminated. Ecuador cannot simply eliminate tourism. Yet effective solutions need to be developed to ensure the island's future sustainability. The species on these islands are living, breathing examples of evolutionary history. Species of the Galapagos walk side by side of curious tourists without an innate fear to flee. There are no bars, fences, or gates. No feedings, cleaning times, or shows. This isn't a zoo. It's one of the world's last natural and self-sustaining ecosystems. Humans are not seen as enemies in the eyes of the animals. 
yet humans are in fact the most utmost threatening of species to the island's ecosystem. Building a sustainable future for the natural habitat of the Galapagos is crucial. Whatever the most efficient solution may be, people need to act before it's too late, before the last Pinta tortoise takes its final step.